This is how do you download JASP. You go to JASP, J A S P hyphen stats, S T A T S dot org. And the first, the main page, you get this page. And as you can see, there is a new release, 0 0.13.1. And you just press download JASP. Go to download JASP. And then, as you can see, this is the, the new release. It's very recent, 16th of July, 2020. It's just last week. So, depending on the computer you have, you download JASP for Windows. And, or just for Mac, and for the most adventurous, you can work on Linux as well. Okay, so just press there and follow the instructions, and it installs very, very quickly. When you open JASP, JASP looks like this. Um, so first make sure you go to this plus sign, and you get the modules. So here there are a lot of modules. I've already ticked the ones that I want to use. And so, but in your case, they will not be ticked. So you need to tick them and then they will appear here. And then you can use them. So in this case, they are almost all available um, because I've already um, uploaded uh, data, but if you don't have data, this will be blurred and you you won't be able to use them. So you can only use these modules when you've got data downloaded. So you just press these to get rid of that. And if you want to return to download some uh, modules, you press the plus sign. Now, how do you upload data? Um, you press here and you go to open. And then you either have recent files. You've got um, a data lab library. So JASP provides these. So when you download JASP, it will have uh, databases that you can use and you can play around with those. So they have data bases that are specific for running descriptive statistics, t-test, ANOVA, regression, frequencies, etc, etc. So you can go there, let's say regression, and then you've got a um, few data sets that you can use for uh, regression. The other option is go to OSF, which is a repository that uh, stores uh, data sets that people and post there and you can use for free. So that's another option. And finally, you can go to your computer, and browse and, and uh, wherever you uh, stored your data set, you find it, find it there. So JASP works with spreadsheets. So I show you how to um, create a data set and then open it in JASP. So let's create something very quickly. Let's say we've got a variable called group and we've got group zero, group zero, group zero, group one, group one, group one. And let's say we measure reaction times, RT, and then this one, 250 milliseconds, 300, 280, and here 200, 250, and 345. Okay, a very small data set, but that's the way it's organized. We've got one variable called group, one other variable called reaction time. Now, you have to save that, but not as an Excel file. You have to um, save it as a CSV file. So when you go there, File, Save As, then you save the file wherever you want. Um, let's say 
you go to browse and you um, going to put in teaching BSC 302 and then here is the test data data set but instead of just press save now it will save it if I do that it will save it as an Excel workbook I don't want that I want to save it as a CSV file so you, I go here and then I find CSV yeah CSV comma delimited that's the format that we want okay remember where you saved it here I saved it in BSC 302 Murtok teaching BSC 302 so save okay so that's that's the data is saved I close the Excel file so now I want to open it in JASP so remember we go to these three horizontal lines and open computer and now I'm going to browse need now to find the directory where I, I saved it it was here Merlin teaching BSC 302 and there it is test data set open and we wait a little bit and here it is here is the data I generated it's there okay so then um, I go to here um, okay so I, I got the data so now I have to press in one of the modules whatever I, I want to do so if I want to do descriptives I press there and now it takes me to here if I want to to go to the data again I can go there when I get these two uh, vertical parallel lines I can drag with with my left uh, button of the mouse oh, so I can move that or I can press the three the three three dots sorry I can press there okay again sorry I've got descriptives analysis I want to do if I want to do to t-test then I go to a t-test and when I want to return to the data I press this arrow show data okay so that's what we get when we uh, upload the data let's say I want to do an ANOVA go there Bayesian ANOVA and I start working there Now the date the uh, website is very useful. You have a lot of material, so you've got support, getting started, how to use JASP, FAQs, we've got a forum. There are workshops that that people run with with uh, JASP materials. Um, so for example, you can go to materials. You've got just manuals, free free PDF so JASP is developed by the University of Amsterdam uh, is completely free and um, a lot of people are helping with producing material for free and they make them available um, so you got my so got manuals if you want to use them in uh, in teaching well, there is resources for teachers we've got more manuals we've got data libraries um, there there is a, even a textbook that I've used in the past it, you can go and get the textbook if you want and something else there are a lot of videos so support getting started you can get this support here um, there is a JASP YouTube channel that you can go as well there is a JASP forum so in in workshops you you can have access to material so P 
people who taught provided workshops with using JASP. They have they make the uh, material of those workshops available, so you can go there as well. And um, there's something else I want to show. Just materials. Got papers about JASP. But what I want to show you is this, how to use JASP. So you press how to use JASP and you've got these, you've got some uh, by analysis. So these are the traditional analysis or frequentist analysis. And sometimes you've got a blog post and sometimes you've got video or a GIF file explaining how to do all these analysis. So play around with these videos. There is very good material and Bayesian analysis. There is a bit less, um, but you've got quite a lot. And here uh, posts or videos explaining the modules, the use of modules. Enjoy JASP.